Okay, now it's just getting crazy. There we go. <laughs> so then there's your Saturday morning laugh because that was insane. Franz, I hope you saw that because that's not gonna happen every week. Um, so today on Aaron's Tchotchkes, you get just me, um, which I think I'm doing on purpose because we have super fun with guests, but I also like to talk to you a little bit. Um, we did have a super fun month. The first week in June, um, we talked all about hippos. I mean, what's better than talking about hippopotamus? So that might be the winning episode so far. Um, we had Anna Reyes on who did the lash tutorial with me and that was giggles and fun. And last week we had Gina Tassinelli and she did fashiony things with us as well. Um, just how to work your closet and make you feel good. So everything that we did this month was really working on making yourself feel good um, on the outside. And so today I wanted to talk about feeling good on the inside. Um, before we get to that, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the outside more because I wore a statement necklace because um, Gina inspired me to. So I've had this for a while, I don't wear it a lot, but, but it's fun and it's coral, which is kind of like a good color. And then, um, I mean, we'll talk about my hair for a second just because I need a haircut. And I did, um, I did like a hair treatment this morning with my lemongrass products. And so it's all, um, it's just natural. This is my crazy hair now. After, um, honestly, after I turned 40, weird things happen with curls and waves and I don't, sometimes I don't know, but I do need a haircut. So maybe I'll do that in July. We'll see. We'll see how the COVID numbers go. Um, but getting back to our tchotchkes, I, our tchotchke show, our program, I wanted to talk about getting grounded and I want to talk a little bit about meditation today. And I have kind of a terrible meditation practice. I try, um, it's very on and off. And so I have a lot of friends and a lot of people in my community that they meditate religiously and they swear by it. Everybody I know who does it swears by it. When I do it, it's amazing and I swear by it. I kind of akin it to taking an antidepressant. So folks who might take an antidepressant or anything, maybe if you work out all the time, anything that makes you feel great, you start feeling great and you're like, I feel great. So I don't need to do this anymore because I feel great. And then you stop doing the thing and you kind of go, I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling great. Oh, I guess I should take whatever the doctor tells me to take, exercise, meditate, the things that keep you feeling up here instead of down here. So um, one of my favorites, and the reason this came to me today, was that Deepak started a new 21 day meditation challenge. And it's about healing from the outside in and reviving yourself. And I, it's, they're into day four. I started today on day one. Um, I think they expire like after the fifth day. So you can still start today. And even if you start on their day two, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I like his because I like the sound of his voice. So it's easy for me to follow. It's guided. And then the silent part is, it's not too long. I think it's 10 minutes. So it's not too long. If you've never meditated and for people who meditate all the time and you're trying to talk to people about meditating, I want to re-explain to you kind of what it feels like because it's torture. So some people's minds go, no, I, nope, can't do it, not going to do it. And that's how I started. The first time I went to a meditation class, I sat there and probably 30 seconds in, my brain said, we don't do this. We don't do this, we don't sit still, we have to keep thinking. Um, if you don't keep thinking, you're gonna forget all the things you're supposed to do. You're gonna, like, it's gonna be a disaster. You can't sit quiet. So you better stop right now. And that's what your brain does. It tries to protect you. So anything, any kind of change, which is especially important right now, any kind of change that you're trying to go through, your brain is going to try to protect you. So, 
when you try to shift into something new, your brain says, you don't know how to do this, you might die. Literally, your brain, all it does is fight or flight, it's survival mode. It's trying to keep you from getting eaten by a lion. So all the cells in your body are gonna go, we don't do this. We don't meditate, we don't start something new, we don't go on Facebook Live, we don't make lists and goals and live our dreams, but you can. So the very first step, if you are not a meditator and you have all of these thoughts that freak you out, I also, meditations, short tangent, people hear the word meditation and they, I feel like they think it's something it's not. Really, when you're meditating, you're sitting quietly, paying attention to your breath. That's it. It's, it really isn't rocket science. Um, but when you're not used to it and your brain is trying to protect you, again, it feels like torture. So what I'd recommend is give yourself like two minutes, two minutes, and just sit Put your phone down because the first thing that's going to happen, your brain, you're going to sit quiet and 10 seconds in your brain is going to go, I wonder what's happening on Facebook. And you're going to reach for your phone to see what's happening on Facebook. And what you need to think, just stay with me on this. Just think, thank you brain for trying to protect me. Don't pick up your phone and try to wait 30 more seconds. And your brain's gonna say, no, seriously, you're gonna die if you don't see what's happening on Facebook right now. And you're gonna say, thank you brain for trying to protect me, we're good. Wait 30 more seconds. I'm gonna ask you to do that three times, just three times. On the fourth time, if you wanna pick up the phone, you wanna, what, whatever it is, go for it. Um, when you think, oh, I have to do this today, I gotta make a list, I gotta go to the store, I gotta get the car fixed, I gotta, I gotta get a haircut, I gotta, 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 say to your brain, thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. I appreciate you, we're good. And keep going, three times. But acknowledge your thoughts, because otherwise your brain's gonna get louder and crazier and say, listen to me, cause you're gonna die. Because that's its job. So the, that's my that's my meditation spiel today. So all of you that are trying to pivot, but it's scary. This is what your brain is doing to you. Um, if you're trying to help people get into a meditation practice, that's what it feels like on the inside for them because you've been doing it for years. So to you, it's like, oh gosh, I need to like meditate another 10 minutes. I need to meditate 30 minutes. And for some people to hear that, they're like, you're crazy but it's not it's really good so you can pop on Deepak it's free there's an app um, 21 day meditation it started so it's an easy guided thing there's also another app called insight and they have short ones five minute ones that one um, I've used it but I feel I have to search for things and when I have to search for things my brains also like see you're not supposed to do this so it kind of fights me um, and so that's my getting grounded today. So now that we've talked about that, I wanted to share a tchotchke with you that is, um, it's a little weird, but it's really important to me, kind of in this grounding sense. Um, I actually might get a little emotional sharing this one with you because it's, anyway, let's show it to you first. So this, this is my tchotchke. Um, I'm gonna give you a minute to admire it in all of its glory. It's kind of heavy. And we'll spin it around. I don't know how well you can see it. This is actually the back of it. Doo -doo -doo. And you can comment, you can comment freely. Um, <laughs> So, so I made this, I think I was, um, I think I was a sophomore in high school when I made this figurine 
and originally she, I mean, I, I call her she, but I'm going to explain that in a minute, um, uh, was purple. And when I moved, I've kept her since I was in high school. And one of the reasons I kept her was that when I made her, the teacher told me she was really bad. Um, I don't remember what the specific assignment was. I mean, we were supposed to build some kind of figurine constructed. It's, it's clay. It was a ceramics class. Um, I wanted to make a figurine that was, that was human, but not necessarily masculine, not feminine, not a boy, not a girl. Um, I built her looking up um broad strong shoulders i wanted it to be strong um i also wanted it to be flowing and so i tried to make you know her arm flow into her legs and um i don't know strong delicate abstract i had like all of these dreams for this ceramic piece um and the the teacher, I don't remember her exact words, but she kind of told me it was a piece of shit. <laughs> I was just like, no. And I suppose from a ceramic standpoint, it's not smooth. You know, I've got, I've got bumps and lumps. It's not perfect. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it went in one of the moves she broke, I glued her arm back on. Um, but to me, she reminds me that things can be strong and delicate and imperfect and multifaceted. Um, and it's not a failure. And, and ironically, when I say like failure, I think I may have gotten a B or a C on this project. Um, which at the time was the same as failing. If it wasn't an A plus, failure. Um, but that things can be this and be amazing. And maybe it's not amazing to everybody. It doesn't have to be everything to everybody. Um, but it's something to me. Maybe the message is something to you. Maybe you think she's insane. And yes, that is a piece of crap. <laughs> um, but she, she's, she's my piece of crap and I love her. So that is my, um, my very personal tchotchke today. Uh, she doesn't have a name. She's dreaming of something good. And, uh, and so am I. So there's uh, a lot of exciting things that are, I feel like, coming out of this very strange time. I feel like the universe has made a lot of space for me. And so I'm trying to really listen and pay attention um, instead of getting my hair cut. <laughs> it's just the more it dries, the crazier it's getting. I should have put it back in a hair tie. So, um, and there you go. I just deviated from my emotion with a little humor because my brain said, don't get emotional. Don't get vulnerable. Stop that right now. Cause you might die and I feel very uncomfortable. Um, and that's how we change by paying attention to the discomfort and saying to ourselves, thank you. It's okay. And Todd, so I think there might be a delay. And you know, Todd, I, I don't know why she's a she. Um, I guess it, really in my heart, it doesn't, it really doesn't have a gender. It's really very gender neutral. Um, but when I, when I speak, I feel like I need to give it an identity and to, I don't know, to say, it or 
I don't know. I guess I just don't know an appropriate gender neutral for her. So I go with she. Maybe because I'm a she. And I and so much of me is in her. Um, but really, it doesn't have a gender. And that was part of it. I mean, you'll see, I did that on purpose when I made it. I don't think you can, can you tell that there's a gender? Do you see both? Anybody watching, I'm interested to see. They, them. Yes. Because there's a whole, there's a whole world here. They and them. <laughs> Love you too, Todd. I haven't seen you in forever. So that is the message for today is love yourself, embrace the change. When you feel uncomfortable, your brain's just trying to protect you. And so stop for a minute and just say thank you and breathe. Um, well, and I guess maybe not ironically, but Todd is a breathing coach. And, you know, we've spent some time talking about the breath today and just sitting still and um todd are you running any breathing workshops right now or are you guys kind of laying low um todd's in miami he has a beautiful space um where pre-pandemic he was teaching yoga and breath workshops and things like that so um todd feel free um, to drop your information in so if people in the area want to participate or if you i don't know if you're doing anything virtually i I have a feeling what you're doing. I've experienced Todd's breathing workshops before, and I'm I'm not sure how that would, if that translates um, virtually, um, because there's so much in the group work where you're really feeling and pulling. Look, I started to cry and my mascara ran a little bit. Um, where you're really pulling energy for other things. Yeah, Todd's not. Yeah, groups COVID, mm, COVID in South Florida, because we can't wear masks, <laughs> so. All right, I don't wanna play that game because I'm in a good place. So thank you all for being here today. Um, take a minute, try, try the meditation if you can, T two minutes, do the three things, um, which are acknowledge when you're feeling tense and your brain says you're gonna die Say thank you. Thank you, brain. I appreciate you and we're good. Give yourself another 30 seconds and repeat. Do it three times. That's all, two minutes, it's a start. And I think you'll really start to feel a difference. So thank you all for being here this Saturday. Um, enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend. And I will see you next Saturday. Love you all. Mwah!